In this session, we are going to discuss about conversion of states of matter. Change of states. Solid on heating. When we are heating solid, what is going to happen? It, is, it will convert into liquid, right? When we are heating liquid, what is going to happen? It will convert into gas. When we are heating matter, it is going to change its state. When we are heating solid, it is going to convert into liquid. When we are heating liquid, it is going to convert into gas. Now we are going to cool matter. We are going to decrease the temperature. When we are decreasing the temperature of gas, what is going to happen? It's just opposite process of heating. We are cooling it. On cooling, it will convert into liquid. When we are cooling liquid, it will convert into solid. It is the process of change of state. Solid, liquid, gas, we can convert these by adjusting the temperature. We can change the state by adjusting the temperature. We can conclude that. The state of matter can be changed into another state by changing the temperature. Sublimation There are some substances which will convert directly to gas from solid. The process is known as sublimation. Solid, when we are heating solid, directly it is converting into gas. This process is known as sublimation. On heating, some solid will convert its state directly to gas. There is no state of liquid. It is directly converting to gas. This process is known as sublimation. On heating, some substances will convert directly into gas. This process is known as sublimation. We are taking example of ammonium chloride. This one is ammonium chloride and this is the experimental setup. It is wet cotton, ammonium chloride, funnel, inverted funnel, china dish, burner, We are taking ammonium chloride and we are going to heat ammonium chloride in a china dish. When we are heating ammonium chloride, this ammonium chloride is going to convert its solid state to gaseous state. This process is known as sublimation. Here we can see the ammonium chloride. The ammonium chloride will convert into gas and because of this wet cotton, it will undergo sublimation again means the process of conversion of gas into solid. But because of this wet cotton, the gaseous form of ammonium chloride will convert back to solid. When we are cooling this gaseous form of ammonium chloride, it will convert into solid back. That is the reason for this yellow deposit here. Name of process is same. The conversion of solid into gas is named as sublimation and conversion of gas into solid directly it is also named as sublimation. Both are sublimation. deposit of ammonium chloride we will get here sublimation a change of state directly from solid to gas without changing into liquid state is called sublimation example camphor and ammonium chloride these substances will undergo sublimation now we are going to discuss about effects of pressure on change of state it is gas when we are applying pressure what is going to happen when we are applying pressure on gas we need to apply pressure at the same time we need to decrease the temperature. We are applying pressure here. When we are applying pressure, it will convert into liquid. And when we are applying pressure again, it will convert into solid. We cannot apply pressure on solid because it is highly incompressible. We can conclude that applying pressure and reducing temperature can liquefy gases. When we are applying pressure, and if we are reducing the temperature, we can liquefy gases. Applying pressure and reducing temperature can solidify liquids. Dry ice, solid form of gas, solid form of carbon dioxide. It is dry ice. We can see this dry ice on stage programs. It is, it is helping to make smoke effect in the stage program. Solid form of carbon dioxide is known as dry ice. Now we are going to discuss about interconversion of matter. In this session we are going to discuss all the conversion of matter and we will discuss with the name of process. There are three states solid, liquid, gas. 
conversion of liquid into gas what is the name of that process it is vaporization conversion of gas into liquid it is condensation conversion of solid to gas directly sublimation conversion of gas to solid it is also sublimation conversion of solid to liquid the name of process is melting conversion of liquid to solid name of process is solidification it's very important diagram you need to learn this diagram in the exam point of view this diagram is very important from this single diagram you can learn all the definitions conversion of liquid to gas is known as vaporization conversion of gas to liquid is known as condensation conversion of solid to gas is known as sublimation conversion of gas to solid is known as sublimation conversion of solid to liquid the process is known as melting conversion of liquid to solid the process is known as solidification subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com